Hello everybody, this is Kyanda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. This video is dedicated to TEMT 6000 light sensor that detects brightness of its surroundings. In this video, I will get this ambient light sensor up and running in Home Assistant using ESP Development Board and ESP Home. I use ESP32S. Have in mind that you can use any kind of ESP Development Board. The only thing that matters is that your ESP development board must be set up with ESP Home. If not, watch this tutorial. This module has been designed into voltage divider circuit. The sensor acts as one of the resistors in the divider. And it itself changes its resistance based on how much light hits it. To get the brightness the sensor the module measures, we simply have to measure the voltage on SIG pin, also called out pin, by connecting it to one of the analog to digital pins of our development board and using analog to digital sensor. Then we have to convert the measured voltages of this pin to illuminance in looks using formula. Let's start our project. Before continuing the video, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done already, as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. In order to interface TEMT6000 with Home Assistant using ESP Development Board after setting up your ESP Development Board with ESP Home, in Home Assistant, on the left panel, Click on settings, from the list click on add-ons, select ESP Home, on ESP Home information page click on open web UI. This is our ESP development board node, click on edit to edit its related YAML file. At the bottom of the file, below Captive Portal, paste these lines. You can find the lines in description. We are going to use a sensor. The platform is ADC, analog to digital converter. I use GPIO 34, pin 34 of my development board. You can choose any analog to digital pin of your development board. You can set a name for your sensor. Device class is Illuminance. Update interval by default is 60 seconds. You can add it to your lines and change it. For example, 10 seconds. Using ESP32 development boards, you have to add this line to your file. If you are using ESP8266, you should remove this line. Unit of measurement is LUX. Formula explanation. To get illuminance in LUX, we first need to convert the measured voltage to the current flowing across the sensor. This current is also equal to the current flowing across the 10K resistor in the voltage divider circuit, which is I equal ADC value per 10,000. The datasheet for the sensor specifies a proportional correlation between current and illuminance. Every two microamp of current correlates to one lux in the illuminance. This is why we are multiplying to this number. After pasting the codes and setting lines, Click on install while your development board is connected to power. As the board is connected to Home Assistant wirelessly, I select wirelessly. Wait till installing edited YAM file completes. In 
installation is completed, I click on stop. Let's talk about the wiring of the sensor. I connected S, which is SIG pin, sometimes called out to pin 34, analog to digital pin. The middle pin, I connected it to the ground of our development board. And V pin, which is VCC. This sensor can handle voltages from both 5 volt and 3.3 volt. I connected this pin, the V pin, to 3.3 pin of my development board. In Home Assistant, click on Settings. Select Devices and Services. In Integrations page, find your ESP Home integration, select your ESP Development Board. Click on its menu, three dots. Delete your device. At the bottom of the page, on the right, click on Add Integration. Search ESP Home, select it. In host section, enter the IP address of your development board. Click Submit. In this popped up window, you can set a room for your device. Click Finish. One device, one entity. This is the sensor TEMT6000, as I named it. Let's test it. I turn off the light. The sensor is working. Now I turn off the light. Pay attention, the LED lights don't emit a smoothly continuous spectrum, more like red, green and blue, spikes that tricks into thinking it's white. Let's add more light to see what happens. I added the light, wait 10 seconds for interval update. The value showing in Home Assistant didn't increase. Turn off one of the lights, wait 10 seconds, the value didn't change, 622 is the maximum number this device, this sensor is showing us, let's change the light. That's it. Now you can use your ambient light sensor in automations, scenes, and enjoy your smart home. All in all, the TEMT6000 light sensor module does not have resolution, or it's better to say that does not have high resolution. And it's good to detect brightness or darkness. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.